Okay, namaste everyone. Okay, welcome to Creative Friday, Tihar special session. I hope you all are excited for the session, right? Are you excited or not? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, so it's already late. So without uh, wasting any further time, I'm going to show you your schedule, okay? Have you got your schedule or not? Okay, uh, so the schedule for this program goes like this. The first performer is Kavya Adhikari, and she is going to give her presentation about Tiha, right? Is Kavya ready? Namaste to you all. It's me, Kavya Adhikari, and today I'm going to tell you all about Tiha. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Tiha, a festival of lights. Tiha is a five day long festival celebrated in our country by most of the Hindu people. In this festival, we worship Lord S. Lakshmi. It is the only festival in which we worship animals along with God. Now, we, we, we celebrate this festival in five days. So let's know what are those five days of this festival. The first day is known as Kaptihar, as crows are known as the messengers of Lord Yam or Yamras, the death god. So people worship crows in a hope that the devotee will save them in the following year from death. Kukur Tihar, the second day is known as Kukur Tihar, as dogs show great loyalty, service and companionship towards humans. We celebrate this day to mark a great bond between humans and dogs. Gai Tihar and Lakshmi Puja, as cow is considered as Lordess Lakshmi, and Lordess Lakshmi is the patron goddess of this festival. So we worship cow in the morning and Lakshmi in the evening. And we worship the Lakshmi by putting, by putting Tika and by worshipping the Lakshmi. And we celebrate this Lakshmi Puja by decorating our houses by different lightings and flowers of marigolds. Govardhan Puja as oxes help us in different agricultural activities. So we worship oxes in order to thank them. By Tika, it is the fifth day of this festival and sisters and brothers put Tika in each other's forehead to mark a great bond between each other of different colors. Hope you all liked my presentation and thank you all and happy Tihar to all of you. Okay, uh, thank you Kavya. That was really nice performance. That was really nice presentation. Uh, I guess Rosan sir is here. So I would like to hand over the screen to Roshan, sir. Uh, thank you, Ranjila Miss. And uh, in the beginning, I would like to take apologize and extremely sorry because I was out of the network. My network is limited, so I could not join on time. And again, I'd like to uh, say sorry to my dear students and with my colleagues. Uh, dear students, so today we are here uh, just to uh, show our uh, creativity on a creative Friday. So without delay, now let me call a second participant for the presentations. Uh, here we go, our master, a very talented and genuine uh, student, our Kelvin Sapkota. So Kelvin, please, uh, your stage. And uh, uh, you can start your presentation. Thank you, Rasan, sir. Uh, first you. of all, namaste everyone. It's me, Kelvin Sapkota from grade eight. And in this occasion of Tiar, I'm trying, I have drawn something that is, uh, that depicts Tiar, that is, that represents Tiar. So let's see what is it. First of all, I have tried to draw the head of Thank you. 
try to show the boy sitting to hold the tikka from his sister. the festival. to show a love sign uh, which represents the love bond between the brother and sister and this bond becomes more closer in the day of Baitika so I have drawn this sign so while coloring I have tried something new through editing I have so at last I have to say happy Tia to you all and wish you will all stay safe and enjoy Tia in a safe manner. So that is oh, for you. today. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Kelvin. I use a round of applause to your work. How artistic uh, that was. It was so incredible. You are so talented. Once again, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity uh, to learn a lot from you. Thank you. Uh, for the next uh, performance, I would like to request Ms. Isniha Vasnet uh, to just uh, demonstrate uh, to present you a presentation. Uh, Ms. Isniha Vasnet, please, your space. Now take the time, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Isniha Vasnet. Studying in grade eight from Mount View English Boarding School. So today I am I have tried to draw a picture of Baitika, which is celebrated in fifth day of Tihar.
first i have tried to make the boy head it is not clearly seen in slide but Then I have make the face of his sister with putting tikka. Finished. Thank you so much uh, for your presentations and your art. Uh, it was fabulous. Uh, you really made it happen. And what day is today? Uh, obviously, uh, we say today is Friday, and we together are here to make uh, this Friday so happy Friday by making it creative. And your work, your amazing effort, really making this Friday creative. Thank you so much. Now, uh, let's not create any gap between the presentations. So without any delay, I would like to request any of the participants uh, to uh, present uh, her performance. And she is none other than Ms. Salina Kafle. <laughs> Thank you. 
After watching your dance, I would like to say that you are an awesome dancer. So I wish uh, to keep it this good old warp. Thank you, Selina. Now, next participant we have here, uh, Miss uh, Priyasna Shrestha. So Priyasna Shrestha, now it's your time and your turn, uh, please. Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Priyasna Shrestha from Grade Eight. Um, today, so in today's uh, program of Creative Friday, I'm going to be showing you all a short craft through this video. Thank you, thank you, Prasna. Prasna, okay, for your that is work, for your craft, for your talent. Uh, I would like to say, oh, that was really wonderful. Uh, you are so kind, and it was a remarkable work. Thank you. So before I request another participant for uh, the presentations, uh, I have some rem reminders for you. The first reminder is uh, mindfulness. So, dear students, are uh, you? As audiences or as participants are enjoying uh, this uh, program, and mindfulness here means uh, to be alert, uh, to be a good and smart audience and learners. So not just enjoying this program, uh, along with the entertainment and enjoying our fun, we are learning uh, the new talents or skills from our friends. So thank you so much, Prasna. Now let me call without any further delay, Miss Arya Arya Nuche Pradhan. Uh, for her soul. Hello everyone, it's me Arya. So today I'm going to show you my craft. So let's begin. So first I draw a leaf in a green a size paper. Then I cut it.
then I use a black sand paint to make veins. Then I cut uh, aloe for size paper into columns. Then I use glue stick to roll it. Then I paste it all in that leaf. leaf. Then I make it eyes and cut it. Then I paste it in the caterpillar's head. Then it's the final result. Thank you, Arya. Thank you so much. It was marvelous and exceptional. I give you very much for your extraordinary work. Yeah, you are so talented. And thank you very much for your insightful work. Yes, thank you. Now, you know, once a person said uh, creativity can't be used up. So the more you use, the more you gain. So it's all about practical. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your creativity. Now, next uh, participant uh, I like to call upon here is uh, Miss none other than uh, Miss Priska Kotwal. So Priska. Yes, yes, yes. It's so clear. So everything is visible. Hello, everyone. It's me, Priska Kotwal, studying at Grade Eight in Monvi English Boarding School. So today I am going to present my art and it is simply known as doodle art that is made by joining extract lines together. So now today I thought of doing something more creative as it is the festival of Tihar and it is the festival of lights. So today I am going to make a doodle art that is related to Tihar and most of the people find that doodle art and making rangolis in Tihar is 
exactly same though it is not the same but you can give some idea about making it from my designs so hope it is useful to you so let's get started so first in an fo paper i tried to find out the center by joining the horizontal and the vertical lines and the point of intersection is the center of the paper then i use a protector and mark each 10 degree both on the upper and the lower side and then i join the point up to the center after joining all the points according to the size of the design i made a circle with the help of compass so that it can help me uh, make proper and appropriate designs as Tihar is the festival of light i use the lamp which is also known as Dio in nepali to create a proper design reflecting the Tihar festival. And many people say that the rangoli that is made in Tihar is generally made to welcome goddess Lakshmi in their houses. So now I made designs by putting detailed in each kind of space and I did not leave any kind of space in my designs. So my last project was this and hope it helped you to make rangolis in Tihar and hope you like my presentation. Wishing you again a happy Tihar. I would like to conclude my presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Praiska. You are so phenomenal. And the combination of arts and your uh, information about Tihar is really an extraordinary. And it proved that you are really a junior scholar. Thank you so much. Uh, personally and frankly speaking, I myself uh, uh, learned a lot from you. Thank you very much. Now, after Price Ka, we have here uh, Miss Rihanna Casey from the same grade uh, for her soul, her presentations. So let's yes. welcome her, Miss Rihanna Casey. So hello everyone, this is Miss Rihanna Casey studying in grade eight from Mount View English Boarding School. So today I'm going to tell something about Tihar. As we know that Tihar is a festival of loves and it shows the bond, bonds between Pe not only between peoples but also between the animals and birds so let's know the five days of tihar firstly tihar is also known as dipavali and yama panchak it is celebrated by especially by hindus so talking about the first day of tihar the first day of tihar is kat tihar in which we worship the crow by feeding them crows are worshipped as they are the messengers of the death we we feed them by offering the grains seeds and sweets by placing them on the roofs or out on the streets so crows could easily eat them talking about the second day of the tihar the second day of the tihar is kukur tihar in which we worship the dogs by putting them putting them tikas and garlands we also feed them it is because dogs are one of the loyal friend to the human beings human beings and they are also they are also the one who have, who protects the house third day of tihar the third day of tihar is uh, gai tihar and lakshmi puja so this is one of the important day of the tihar we worship cows and lakshmi because lakshmi is one of the we worship lakshmi as the as she is called the god and we worship the cows as Cows are the symbols of the Lakshmi. Fourth day of Tihar. Fourth day of Tihar is called Govardhan Puja, in which we worship ox as they are as they are one of the important animals. Whereas in Nepal community, people celebrate it as also a Maha Puja. Fifth day uh, of the Tihar. Fifth day of the Tihar is uh, Baitika. And it is also the last day of the Tihar in which brothers and sisters put tikas on their forehead, showing their special relationship between each other. Tihar is one of the one of the biggest festivals celebrated in Nepal as well as in India, especially by Hindus. So it also shows that it is celebrated because very joyfully and it shows the relationship and special bond with the animal as well as human beings. This, thank you very much. I hope you like my presentation and happy Tihar to you all. Thank you, Sriyana. It was really a brilliant presentation. I must say that uh, you have, uh, you know, I have, uh, I must say that 
So without any hesitations that you have earned my respect and all the slides are so informative. Uh, those who could uh, see your slides and your presentation, obviously uh, they could get a uh, knowledge uh, completely about the Tihar. And the first slide is so impressive. Uh, that is the collage, so impressive and so complete collage. Thank you so much, Priyana. Now let me uh, request another participant from grade eight. Uh, so he's not on the Miss Luniba Shrestha. So Luniba, uh, it's yes. your time to present. Namaste everyone, it's me Luniba Shrestha studying in grade eight in Mount Bing Sporting School. So I have made a craft, uh, so you can see it. Uh, so first I have uh, got the uh, if size colorful paper in pieces, then with the help of glue stick, I uh, attach them. Then after that, I started making a flower. Then I cut the papers a little bit uh, small than another one, first one. Then I'll, I attach them same like first one. Then I make a flower. Then I attach that small flower in that uh, bigger big flower. Then I again made make flower same like that.
then after I have uh, made some flowers. Then I attach the flowers on the stick, which I made up made from the FSI paper. Then I have attached all that flowers in the stick. Then after that, I join the sticks. And this is the last reason, result. So kind of you, Miss Luniva Sprister. Thank you so much. It was really a fantastic and artistic work. Uh, truly speaking, uh, I didn't know about this craft making uh, before I watched your video. Uh, from the beginning to the finishing, I worked whole the process now I'm confident that I can also do this work. Thank you for teaching me. Uh, Creative Friday is a platform where the students are teachers. That means the teachers are students. The teachers uh, learn from students. Thank you for being our teacher. You're really talented. Thank you. And now next participant, I'd like to request uh, our very talented and so sweet student, Miss Dilasa Vandari. So Dilasa. Now, please take your space. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. At first, I would like to start my video by wishing all of you a happy Tihar. And today, my video is also related to Tihar. Today, I'm making a diya at home by using the soil. Uh, and let's see how I make it. At first, I started by making a dough uh, from the soil. And now, I'm going to make a diya. I uh, broke the soil into two pieces because I'm going to be making two diyas. Now I'm going to be showing you the process how I make it. First, 
Then I gave shape to the diya. These are the two diyas that I made. Um, now I am going to decorate one of them and let. Then we are going to take a small part from the soil, and we are going to be shaping it in this way. Then I am going to be sticking it in the diya to make it look more beautiful. These are the two final results and now let's wet them drying. After drying it looks like this. Now I'm going to color it. I have finished the first one. Uh, now I'm going to color the second one. The second one, I'm going to be coloring it red and yellow. After coloring, these two are the final results and I hope you like it. Uh, it took me a lot of time to do this. So thank you everyone and yes, happy Tihar. Awesome. It was really awesome. Thank you so much, Adilasa. You are so unique. Uh, thank you very much. And it looks like that you are so economic to write because you could prepare DI yourself. Thank you very much. You very young students are so you know, talented and so skillful and so hardworking that you people are beyond our imagination. So I really wish uh, from the core of my heart uh, to go ahead. So keep up the good work. Thank you. Now, ne uh, let me call the next uh, participant for today's program. Uh, she is uh, Ms. Sonisha Karki. So Sonisha, yes, please. Yeah, now your time. So. Sir, can you see my slide? Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yes, 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 please. It is visible, so we can see. Hello, everyone. So, can I start? Hello. Yes, please. Yes. yes thank you. Hello, everyone. It's me, Sunny Sakarki from Grade A. Today, I'm here as the participations of the Creative Friday, the Nepali festival Tihar, which is nearly tomorrow. Which is nearly tomorrow. So, I am going to say an essay on the topic Tihar. First, let me say something about Tihar. Tihar is one of the major Hindu festival. Nepali, Nepali festival Tihar is also known by many names such as Dipavali, Lakshmi Puja, or Worlds of Light. It, it is a five days festival which comes soon after the Dose festivals. It falls in the month of October or November and all the houses are decorated with the lights. On the first day, crow is worshipped. It is also known as the Kak Tihar, which you can see some photos of. And the second day is called Kukur Tihar. Again, you can see photos of Kukur Tihar. Also the, also, also the crow and the dog are regarded as the messengers of Yama, Yama, the god of death. Third day is called Gai Tihar. It is also called Lakshmi Puja. Cow is worshipped in the morning and Lakshmi is worshipped in the evening, which you can see the 
photos how the people worship cow and lakshmi and the fourth day is called guru tihar it is also known as the ox there is also some photos and the fifth day is called vaitika there is you can see some of the photos on the slide and in the vaitika people um, the sisters give some gifts and puttikas in the fifth days of vaitika sister wishes a long life to their brothers in nepali brother is known as bhai what if you are a brother without a sister or a sister without a brother in that in that case you can make one one by accepting someone close to you your relatives or you can find one fr your friends and neighbor or neighbors whomever you made your sisters or brother remains so for life happy tihar to everyone i hope you like my presentation stay home stay safe stay healthy i am going to conclude my word thank you thank you for your marvelous and insightful presentation a uh, visual collection is really an appreciable uh, thank you so i appreciate a lot yeah we enjoyed we learn a lot uh, from your presentation thank you now we are almost at the end of uh, our today's program so we have still two participants and to call upon let me request our dear students master mr saugat kharel saugat please Uh, your turn uh, to give a presentation uh, so god can you hear me uh, is your turn Oh, so sir, so God is not here. Okay, okay. Thank you. Then uh, when he joins, then I will can call him. Uh, so uh, though he the last one, but not least, uh, according to the shade is casual. But let me call him. Okay, in this turn, uh, he is none other than uh, Mr. Abushan Basnet. So Abushan, if you are there, uh, please sir. now your time to give a presentation. Um, yes, Abushan. Thank you, Rosan sir. Now I am going to share my screen. Sir, my screen is visible. Yes, yes, please. Yes, it is clear. Hello, friends. Today we are going to make a picture related to the art. Uh, I am going to draw a rocket.
And friends, uh, after doing color, it looked like this. And at last, I would like to tell you all a pity ass. Thank you, Abu Sun. So brilliant and outstanding. Uh, your work is really, in fact, out of sight. Well, and yeah, yes, you are so special. Thank you so much. Now, before I uh, just about to I'm about to conclude today's program, once again, I would like to call Mr. Saugat Karel if he is there for his presentation. Sir, there is no uh, Saugat. Okay, thank you so much. So finally, we came to the end of this uh, program, uh, Creative Friday. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Mount View School uh, for creating such kind of platform where the students uh, with the teachers get the ample opportunity to learn a lot. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope all the students who are here, so who are in this room, really enjoy it and uh, learn so much. Okay, from uh, friends, and I hope uh, you uh, just uh, are always dear to participate and uh, to show your skills and talents in coming program. So wishing you a prosperous and successful life on the auspicious occasion of the year. I'd like to say happy year and bye bye everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you for your uh, wonderful participation. Bye Thank sir so and much. happy year. Yes, happy year. So enjoy a lot. Bye, stay, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye, sir. Yes. Enjoy as much as you can. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.